we're back we're filming we're doing this hi everyone what's up i'm coming to you today from the comfort of my own floor to talk to you about being happy because i think it's an important topic and and I think all of us have a desire to be happy. So I want to talk to you about some of the things that I've done that have helped me become a happier person and that have helped me um, like not dwell on negative times and not like stay in that negative space. So I want to talk to you about that in case you do need it. This is a really weird time for like the world and staying inside. If you're not used to it, it can bring out certain things in you, certain feelings, thoughts, emotions that maybe you... Are having a hard time dealing with and it can make you sad and whatever and I've also been through it so I feel like I just I want to talk to you about it and I want you to sort of share with me whatever it is that is you're going through and just have like an open sort of conversation about it okay so the first thing I want to say is that happiness does take work a lot of people think that you just wake up and you're happy every day and for some people it could be like that but for a lot of people it's not sometimes you have to wake up and make a conscious decision to be happy or to be positive or to think about the positive things actually all the time you should wake up and do that because a lot of being happy is actually choosing to be happy and not choosing to dwell on sadness to dwell on negativity that's something that i go through where i need to like catch myself if i'm dwelling too much on something that already happened or if i'm thinking about something that happened and i'm sad and i'm like okay i can't like choose to stay there because i'm not going to progress or i'm not this is doing nothing for my mood and i'm not even living in the present so i think that just by making the simple decision to say like today i'm going to be happy or i'm so grateful for whatever it is that's like hugely helpful for you i think that being sad and dwelling and being negative is a lot a lot easier than being happy and i know personally my mind goes tends to go to the negative or tends to go to the past and um think more about that so it's easier to choose sadness and dwell on negative things that is much easier than to be happy and to choose happiness so i think that my first thing i want to say is that happiness does take work and it's not just something that, hap that happens you kind of have to train your mind to go into that happy and positive place my second point is that you're not always going to be happy especially now if you are like at home you're going to have off days you're going to have good days like you're going to have all different types of emotions and feelings you're not always going to be happy and even in life like you're not always going to be happy obviously life happens you need sad moments and they're going to happen regardless but i think the thing to remember when that does happen is that that's going to pass it's not gonna always be that way you're not gonna always be in that state of mind or in that energy it also means that you don't have to stay in that negative energy or in that negative mindset you know try not to sit with it too long and dwell on it like and sometimes things are gonna come back that you might think that you've already processed and when that happens it's fine what I'm saying is that you don't want to stay in that place for too long like you want to try to get out of it even if it's like even if you have to continue trying to get out of it for whatever um, time it may be after you have felt like all of those emotions process them whatever if it comes back just try to manage that by getting into a different mindset so don't like dwell in that place even though it's really easy to be sad and to be a victim or to like think you're a victim or whatever like that's not the place that you want to be in that's not what's going to make you strong that's not what's going to um, make you excel and just strengthen your mindset so you want to be careful of those thoughts and you want to watch them and like sort of pick them like weeds like when they say your mind is your garden pick all of those thoughts away they're going to come and go um but you just got to like choose what thoughts you give attention to and what thoughts you stay with and which ones don't serve you so during this time that we're all at home and we're safe at home and we have the privilege to be at home i've seen a lot of articles on what to do how to be productive how to do this how to do that like what to do and i think something that's important and if it's like a message and it's like the most important message in this video that i want to get across is that you don't really have to do anything like we've been blessed and given this time to be able to relax to slow down to take a breath even if we're working we're still like not commuting back and forth to work we're not in that same space so we're able to live a little slower and i think that we need to take advantage of that because we don't really live slow I mean, we've been given so much time to reflect to like sit down and eat a meal and taste what the meal tastes like and shower and smell our soap and and to do all of these daily things that we normally rush through to get to something else and to actually live and be alive and sort of savor your life in that way so i think that 
all of these things that I've been reading about productivity and what to do and whatever, like they're good because sometimes you really need that content or you really need to be in that space where you want to be productive. But I think it's also important to like let people know that you don't have to be doing anything. You can literally just be like on your couch reading a book or like just looking out into to the window or and that doesn't have to be a boring thing it could be something that's reflective or it can be just you being in the present like we i think we all especially me i need to learn how to be in the present how to sit down and be okay with not doing and not feel bad about not doing not go into a negative space last week i had a pretty weird week i was thinking about all the time i had been given and what i was not doing with it like i wasn't doing any, anything productive i wasn't like doing anything but it was maybe something that i needed to stop doing like i needed to stop being so productive or like i needed to just have fun a little bit and stimulate like my creativity i I've joined TikTok, which has really helped with that. I know it's like trivial, but it's something that sometimes you just need to laugh or have fun or um, just kind of forget and like be okay with not doing and not producing. I think it's important if you want to be happy and you want to be in your creative person to give yourself that time to allow yourself that time to explore and create without a deadline, without trying to sell something, without trying to get anywhere, but just to, to see, to see what happens, to see. Another thing, which is something that I feel like a lot of people kind of do already is to stay informed but turn off the news once you're informed like you don't need to hear about all of this bad news all the time so turn off your notifications from your phone when you do want to hear about something or when you do want to get like up to date like set a time of the day maybe like the first 30 minutes of the day and the last 30 minutes of the day or however you want to do that just set a time where you get up to date on the news you want to be informed but not to the point where it seeps into your life and that you're like super in a bad mood now and you're super sad and you're like super worried about the state of the world like, we think that we can control a lot and we can't we literally cannot control a lot like nobody really saw this coming general population really didn't think that something like this would happen and now it's happened so you really just never know what's gonna happen so if you have no need to look at the news look at bad news like try not to get into that space it's not gonna do anything for you you're gonna get in a bad mood and your family's gonna get in a bad mood and it's just not where you want to be another thing is and this is one is pretty important it's important for me and um, I think it's important and a lot of people don't really realize like how diet and how diet and alcohol consumption affects them especially now because we are eating a lot more eating trashier things that we normally do or maybe drinking more i certainly am i have been eating crap and drinking more than usual last week i did a lot of that i it honestly got me like in a really moody place i was like kind of sad like i just like did not want to be in that space so i was like okay this week like i'm gonna try to eat healthier because all of this like gluten and everything that's like inflammatory is just not making me feel good physically i don't feel good it's not healthy the alcohol is making me sometimes sometimes if i drink too much like it makes me sad obviously alcohol is a depressant so you want to try to limit as much of the things that make you like sad during this time so just be careful of the things that you consume that you are not normally consuming and the things that you are maybe like if it's ice cream if it's sweet if it's like all of that has an effect on your mood it has an effect on on your body and on your overall mood and feeling and you know mindset another thing it's important like not to do anything drastic or strict at this time because obviously you're at home and you want to try to comfort yourself as much as possible so don't say like i'm every single meal is going to be like super healthy if you've been eating unhealthy just say like okay i'm gonna have one healthy meal like i'm gonna have vegetables two servings of vegetables today and that's it you know and that's like good enough and that's really going to make a difference so i think like sometimes we think solutions come in these grand gestures and these grand changes but it really just comes down to what you do day to day and what the small and the small changes that add up day to day my next thing is keep a clean space as much as you can keep things clear um it just helps with your thoughts it helps with your mindset you know i rearranged some of my furniture to sort of shift the energy a little bit and i think that's something that always helps me to be honest i like to have something different so i think rearranging your furniture if you can like when i was younger um and i lived in my mom's house i used to always rearrange my room and like every time you go in it was like a different room but i did enjoy it because it meant that it looked different and i was 
you know, doing something different. It's a shift of energy that I always do and I recommend you doing as well if you can and if you're able to. Those are my tips. I know they're nothing crazy. They're very simple because I think the more you simplify things, the easier they are to execute. Complexity is the enemy of execution. So you want to simplify your life as much as possible. Simplify your thoughts. You don't need a lot to be happy. You don't need to do a lot. You just need to get out of your mind, get out of that negative mind space and just push forward if you are at home and you have nobody to talk to or nobody to get you out of the space or nobody to sort of talk things through with you can always contact me i'm happy to help um i'm not like a trained professional but i will listen remember that the world is not always going to function the way that it does right now and we are gonna get out of this soon and get out of this together and it's gonna be great so as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you back here tomorrow